All right, Shalom, Shalom. I'm going to give all praise and honor unto Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Akakadash, Rakatha Yahweh, Rakatha Yahweh Shai, Rakatha Yahweh, Rakatha Yahweh Shai, Rakatha Yahweh, Rakatha Yahweh Shai, Bashem Akakadash. We give double honors to our apostle elders, which is the apostle elders at Great Millstone, to the hopeful elect on the four corners of the planet Earth, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that are pushing, fighting, and hoping for uh, salvation, man. It's close. 2020 is becoming a year of untold. <laughs> joy for those that you know are waiting on the lord because um these are we're seeing that the lord has promised us these things and it's taking place uh let's jump right into this lesson this lesson is going to be called no assurity of life no assurance of life and why i say why is that because today what happened you had the unemployment benefits that was cut okay so that's going to affect a lot of people i think it's about 12 million people that's a lot of people that's going to have no Pay, there's going to be no paychecks coming in. So I'm going to play a few of these videos and then uh, I'm going to go through, go through some precepts right after. Uh, the videos are going to say they're going to speak for themselves. So uh, enjoy Akim. And these are the times we're coming to. We're not to worry, man. The Lord said our daily bread will be taken care of and that's what we need to concentrate. If we hold a roof over our head and, and daily bread, we're good, man. You know, we're, we, have, we have exactly what we need, man. You know, and, it's being, and the Lord's going to take care of us. He said we're going to laugh in famine. You know, so that's going to come also. So let's go ahead and play this. Play 12 million Americans depending on emergency and employment aid. The cost has run out on government health. This now is going to be a rough, a rough struggle. Pennsylvania grandmother Nicole Aker is out of work since March. Now out of options to make ends meet. The panic mode has now kicked in. See that? You know, my unemployment is See what she point, said? You know, panic mode. So all this is set up. It says men's going of uh, the Lord. So the Most High wants this to go down exactly as it's going down. That's pretty much it on that one. I'm going to go to the next video and uh, play this one. Michelle Hansen has been laid off twice now from her server job in Bellevue, both times when Washington closed indoor dining. And now her standard unemployment has run out and she's relying on federal PEEC, Pandemic Emergency Unemployment Compensation. So that expires at midnight on the 26th tonight. That has to be very scary. Well, and you see, this is like, you know, you would think an Edomite looking woman, woman like this wouldn't be hurting in these times. But nope. That's what, <laughs> across the board, man. What's the scripture says, uh, you, uh, silly women. Hold on. Let me, let me get that real quick. Hold on. Let me play this. Let it's me a little unnerving. I have three kids that really like to, you know, eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They really enjoy power and running water. So it's not just me that I have to worry about. I have kids to worry about as well. Support for millions of Americans hangs in the balance after Trump asked Congress to increase agreed-on stimulus payments from $600 to $2,000. Then Republicans blocked that move. Now the clock is ticking down with relief set to expire and no replacement. What I do know is this needs to get done. It's not just the $600 or $2,000 stimulus check. It's the weekly unemployment benefits that are keeping us alive. She got so that's showing you, this is, as from her look, she looks like an Edomite, right? You know, it could be, you know, maybe Italian or something like that. But I'm just using as for face value today, what it would, she looks like a so-called Edomite, right? But this is what it says um, right here. This is Isaiah 32 and 10. It says, many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage, the vintage shall fail, and the gathering shall not come. So you're seeing what's happening now. And it is this prophecy being fulfilled, man. You, it's exactly how it's written. Uh, let me get the New Living Translation uh, so you can see what it says. It says, in a short time, 
just a little more than a year, you careless, you careless ones will suddenly begin to care. For your fruit crops will fail and the harvest will never take place. What's the harvest? That's the time where you get payment. If you garden, right, and you 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 uh you tend to the crops, you 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 make sure that the crops are watered. When when do you get the fruits of your labor? When you harvest everything. That's when you get the payment for all the work you put into farming and husbandry. So it's saying the crops, the the payment time ain't gonna come. If your crops are decimated, what are you gonna harvest? You're gonna harvest nothing. Because there's no crops to harvest. So just like now, there's no payment coming. That time of, of, of sitting there high and mighty is, is over. And we were, we've been on the bottom. We've been living check to check. We've been in a pandemic our whole existence in this place, man. You know, we've been on the uh, on the, uh, the downturn, man. You got people saying that, oh, you guys need to, you, you made it. No, look at the value or the the wealth gap between the so-called um, Edomite, the so-called Caucasian, so-called white families compared to black families just in the United States alone. You're going to see the gap is extremely wide, man. So you can't say we're all on the same note and we're just winning. No, they're mad at the crumbs that we are getting, you know. So uh, like it says, man, times is times is here. We read it one more time. Many days and years shall be, it says, many days and years shall you be troubled. Ye careless women, for the visage shall fail and the gathering shall not come. Man, so let's play this back one more time and uh, listen close. Expires at midnight on the 26th tonight. That has to be very scary. Well, it's a little unnerving. I have three kids that really like to, you know, eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They really enjoy power and running water. So it's not just me that I have to worry about. I have kids to worry about as well. Support for millions of Americans hangs in the balance after Trump asked Congress to increase agreed-on stimulus payments from $600 to $2,000. Then Republicans blocked that move. Now the clock is ticking down with relief set to expire and no replacement. What I do know is this needs to get done. It's not just the $600 or $2,000 stimulus check. It's the weekly unemployment benefits that are keeping us alive. She got this email from the state on the 23rd saying if the bill isn't signed today, the Employment Security Department won't be able to issue benefits for PUA and PEUC. On Facebook today, ESD says if it's not signed, claims for the week ending with the 26th will proceed, but future claims will be impacted, which leaves Michelle and her kids hanging in the balance. Right. What would you say to the people that are making these decisions right now about people like yourself and, and the way this is impacting your life? It's time to put your money where your mouth is. I think that the fact that there are real people being impacted by this, not just people dying from COVID, but there are so many other impacts being felt around the nation and we're real people with real families that really desperately need help. We need answers and we need help. And it seems like that. So look at all the staff members. They, they out of there, man. There's no in dining. They probably kept the chefs. But all that happy time, that go lucky, you know, living life. Vicarious, man. And sending that, hey, that's, that's being cut the low, man. You know, and I, I bet in these restaurants, they serving pork, shrimp, lobster, calamari, all that madness, man. Lord did, did away with that, man. You, 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 <laughs> collateral damage of judgment, man. Of, man, t time to slow down. How much did, how much contribution to sin did this restaurant have, man? Just look at it like that, like that. Because it says, who is perished being innocent? You, know, you, you see the smile, but let's look in the underline. They serving pork in there. Is, is it a full culture place? I don't know. But I, I, there's not many of those around. And there's not many people that eat that way to make it a successful business. So I'm sure the way that this place was, 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 it was fine dining. So you know they had lobster in there. You know they had shrimps in there. You know they had different veal and different things you're not supposed to partake in, man. All right? So these are the times and the things that we, we're living in, man. People are not assured of life. They don't know what they're going to do. Let's, let's let this lady speak, and uh, I'm going to go into some precepts. 
You know, it's sad and it's very upsetting that, again, not only myself, but many others are in the same situation that I am in. And it's winter time, freezing cold out. I'm in survival mode. Huh? You see what she said? <laughs> you ain't even got to see her face. Look at her eyes. They said the eyes are the gateway. Look at her eyes. Look at them. Look. <laughs> oh, man. People, you know, you can say, well, I don't know. I could do that, bro. You know how long we've been catching hell? And nobody came to our aid, man. Nobody came to ask. That's why I said, no, who, who shall bemoan thee? Let me get that real quick. You know, let me get that real quick. Hold on. I, man, you you seeing what the Lord is doing, man. Hold on. I said, hold on. Ooh. Let me see if it'll come up. Here we go. Jeremiah 15 and 5. And it's, uh, let's go to, let's go to 4. Because these people looking like, oh, oh, oh. You know, the regular, when you used to tell Edomites, look, you know, we went through slavery. They said, oh, we, we didn't have nothing to do with it. You know, hey, we don't, you know, we, we that was in the past, you know, but they felt like they weren't going to ever have to taste that judgment. What happened to us? Why are you going through this now? Because the Lord is cursing your nation. He's judging your nation. Just like we were judged as a made shun. All of us went into slavery. We didn't have a sect of Israel that just stayed and chilled out and didn't have to go bondage. The Lord said we all went into it. It was a nationwide contract. When the Lord said, you shall be my people, didn't say you and name individuals. He said, my people. So he sent all, even the prophets. It says even David, man, carried the, the king away captive, man. So King David came in the reincarnation and had to serve slavery, man. So now you think you're going to be excluded from that? No, man. No, this is this is what the most high is real. And if you break the words, that's what you're getting. Your nation is getting it's just, it, it, it's reaping what it's sowed, man. The fruits of it are coming and it's rotten. All right, this is Jeremiah 15 and 4. It says, and I will cause them to be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth because of Manasseh, the son of Hezekiah, king of Judah, for that which he did in Jerusalem. He said, we he, all of us had to go. Verse 5, it says, for who shall pity upon thee? O Jerusalem, or who shall bemoan thee, or shall go aside to ask how thou doest? So no one asked how we was, no one was concerned about us, man. That's what the scriptures is telling you right here. Nobody came to ask what was going on with us. How are we doing? We know you came in slavery. Are you guys okay mentally? No, no. You just swept this under the rug and had this work around you and and, and live this minuscule life as you ignored our pain, man. You know, like it says, look at the financial gap between so-called black household and an Edomite household or white household. It's astronomically far, man, where you got Jake's that's living check to check. And then you got a, a, a Edomite couple with at least 20,000 in savings, 10,000 in savings, 50,000. Some are upwards in the hundreds of thousands of dollars in savings benefits, inheritance, insurance policies, all these things that this society has built for you to succeed if you just go and look for it, man. But it's not, we don't have access to that because why, what, we'll get a felony, you, you, your credit ain't good, the, the list goes on and on why we can't get those things because it's just the same thing as Jim Crow, man. But it's another version of it. It's another version of Jim Crow, but it's more, it's more intricate. It's, it, that's the word. 
It's more deep. It's a more it's it's a more webby. It's a more strings on the spider web. Jim Crow was solid, clear cut. Don't drink this water fountain, nigga. <laughs> That's what it was. Don't go to this bathroom. Don't go into this restaurant. That's what it was. Now it's oh, we would like to give you this loan, but your credit's not where it should be at. How do you how are we gonna build credit if we live in check to check? Don't it, it, it is but the willful ignorance is, is is done now. Now, hey, you don't have to worry about sitting there and in, in, in uh your lifestyle and all this. Now it's being judged, man. Welcome. Welcome to the curses. That's what this is now. No assurance of life. This is how we've lived our whole entire lives, man. Some men have lived this until they went to the grave. They didn't have no assurance. They never they never rested. Why do you think our diet is the way it is? The the way we treat each other because we don't we don't love ourselves, man. You know? So the society has done a good job of having us self-destroy ourselves. Now it's coming to the time you got to taste it. The 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 doubt, the hesitation, the uncertainty. These are a part of what we felt our whole entire lives. Can you grasp that? You only had a year of it, less than a year. Let's say a couple more days or whatever. You'll you'll be a year of of uninsured. It's not. It's gonna get worse, man. It's gonna get worse because why? You have sinned against the Lord, man. You have touched the apple of the Lord's eye. It just like we went as a nation. Let me read it again, so you don't think I was. Um, Miss uh, representate uh, misrepresentating it. <laughs> so like you. This is uh, Jeremiah 15 and 4. Listen close. And I will cause them to who's them? The nation of Israel, the whole nation. It didn't say some of them in some good up up upstanding Israelite. They can stay in the land and chill. No, all of us went. And I will cause them to be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. How was that? North Atlantic slave trade, man. We were spread out across the four corners of the planet Earth and, and, and put into bondage by the way the curses and actual chains, man. It says, and I will cause them to be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth because of Manasseh, the son of Hezekiah, king of Judah, for that which he did in Jerusalem. OK, so that's what happened. We went into bondage. Now, hey, you got to pay for your nation touching the apple of the Lord's eye. Someone got to pay. There's a there's a whole tab on that table. Somebody got to pick it up. Somebody got to pick up that tab. We, we we already paid for our, our our meal is paid for. How is our meal paid for? By Yahbashim Yahshai giving his son, which is Yahushai, to to pay that debt. Who's gonna pay your debt? Where's your payment, man? We in the restaurant that is called the 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 creation, man. This restaurant is called Creation, and there's rules and regs. And there's a menu. You can either order from the kosher menu, the good menu, or you can order from the bad menu. And either of those has payment. Each of those has a as a as a price value, man. And it's time to pay. That's it. It's simple, man. How you going? You can't knock it. If you go into a restaurant and order two thousand dollars worth of food and champagne and and and, and caviar and appetizers. You can't the the restaurant the restaurant did its job it made the food it gave you what you wanted now you time to it's time to pay you can't tell the restaurant now nah, I ain't got no money you, you well, well what's gonna happen you have to wash dishes slavery that's what that makes let's look that up you know let's see what let, if there's a saying for that can't pay the bill wash the dishes man. I used to see that as a kid, and I, I it made sense. If you if you pay that order, you can't. That's why people dine and dash. You go into a restaurant, you can't dine and dash on the Lord, man. You can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. See, let's 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 see what that if they come up with something.
Look, this is what it used to be. But now, they'll ask them to give them collateral. This is from 2007. It says, can you actually wash dishes at a restaurant if you can't pay? Sorry, but you're not getting off that easy. See? But now, just it says just about everybody has heard the old cliche about being forced to wash dishes at a restaurant if you're unable to pay your bill. <coughs> but do any restaurant owners actually put this into practice? If not, what do they do when someone can't pay his or her bill? In order to answer this question, we spoke to a handful of restaurant owners. Most of them asked to remain off the record, but three let us let uh, let us their uh, names. Chef Kenny Gilbert, the owner of Gilbert Underground Kitchen. Uh, let's keep going down. I don't want to go into it too much. But it says, uh, if a guest cannot pay the bill, first thing I would do is get a copy of the license to write down their information. They would not be able to work in the restaurant without being an employee because of the liability. If we could have them work to pay off their meal, I would have them do the messiest jobs that we have. Slavery. So you can't do it these days because of the whole paperwork. There's, there, they have to do the I-9. They got to do their uh, all their paperwork to be able to be in the back because the insurance wise. So if they back there washing the dish and cut themselves, the restaurant would be liable for that. Okay. So back what I'm saying with Esau, you want to wash some dishes, which is bondage because you can't pay the tax. You racked up a whole lot of whole lot of money, man. Whole lot of payment you racked up. And you can't pay for it. So now what's getting ready to happen? The Lord is going to, he's going to write up. You You have to do some things, man. All right. So back to this. Um, This person right here. And I'm just going to read these precepts while we take a look at uh, <laughs> un, uh, uh, no insurance of life. That's the look she's giving right now. This is the look of no assurance of life. That's what you're seeing scared man yeah yeah like it says man the lord been making ways for us we we've been knowing how to grind with the why you think uh, uh cereal and milk and water and cereal came from they grind it you willing to sacrifice taste for just to get a thing done um this is deuteronomy 28 and verse 66 and it says so it says and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have no assurance of thy life. Let's go to the New Living Translation. Your life will consistently hang in the balance. You will live night and day in fear, unsure if you will survive. Let's go to the English Standard Version. Your life shall hang in doubt before you night and day. You shall be in dread and have no assurance of life. And why? Why is that? Why is this happening? You'd be like, why would why would God do such a thing? Why is this taking place? I'm gonna show you. This is Deuteronomy 28 and verse 65. This is gonna tell you what's 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 going on, man. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 65. It says. Among these nations, this is what the Lord told us, <clears throat> his loved ones, his son. This is what he told us. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But the Lord will give thee there a trembling heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. And look at that. That, that don't describe that. Failing eyes in sorrow of mind. That's what you see right there in front of you. You seeing it, man. You seeing what 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 fear is, man. And this ain't something all I'm trying. You know, this is just me pointing out facts. This is it. You 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 can you can get in your feelings if you want to. This is uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And thy in the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemy. And on them that hate thee and which persecuted thee. And this, this society has showed us the most hate you can show somebody, man. 
now that we're getting put into our kingly role, don't, don't, hey, welcome to the, like it says, welcome to the curses. There's juice and, and snacks in the corner. <laughs> so with that, I want to give all praise and honor unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Akakadash, where I can say Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, and to you hopeful elect out there, keep fighting, keep pushing. Uh, we're almost there. The Rakakadash is, is moving in these times, man. Shalom, Akim, Shalom.